All right, folks, I'm here to eat some crow tonight. I'm going to actually recommend the Mi A3 from Xiaomi. After watching literally, I don't know, 30 videos on it and reading a lot of reviews, people really love it. I know. I was kind of ticked with the 720 display. But let's face it. I have a 720 display right here on the new mobile G3 and it's bright as hell. It's probably one of the better displays I have. This thing has some pretty good specs. We'll get to those right after the intro. Let's do that right now. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. We're going to uh, just tell you about TubeBuddy.com. If you are a creator on YouTube, you should be using this. Uh, the link it will be on the screen here, but it will also be in the description below. As you can see, the prices are, those are for the advanced licenses. You could try this for free. Um, they made me a really good offer. After I tried it for about a week, uh, I'm paying four fifty a month. Offer I could not refuse. So check that link again on the screen. Yeah, uh, tubebuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech, or check the description below when you're done watching the video. And that's all I have. Let's get right back to the video right now. All right, folks, I'm back. And after watching a ton, I mean literally, you know, 20, 25 reviews on this thing, I can say that it's probably well worth your money. Here comes an image. As you can see, it's got a little bit of a camera bump. You're going to want to put a case on it for sure or a skin or something on the back to protect it. Uh, you'll easily be able to use, you know, one of these magic tags like I use currently with the Mi A2 if you want to use wireless charging through the USB-C port. But you might just want to, you know, stick to using that 18-watt USB charger that it comes with fast charging. It'll charge up pretty quick. And with a 4,000 and I believe... Well, it's 4,000 milliamp hours plus. You'll do just fine. You'll get through a day, maybe two days with this thing. It's an AMOLED display. That's a bonus. It'll be, you know, incredibly sharp and bright. And it does shoot in 1080p. At, you know, with EIS, I can't confirm or deny whether yeah it does shoot in full HD as does the Mi A2 here but no EIS and meh not so good uh, other than that I got I have to admit here's another shot of it now here's the one I'm linking in the description below make sure to read that uh, it uh is the almost gray you can see the three cameras the 48 megapixel which is shooting at a pixel bend you know 12 megapixel puts it all together it has a wide angle 8 megapixel camera and the depth sensor and on the front I really don't know what it has I think it's a 16 or a might be a 20 You'd think I watched all these videos and I know this stuff, but eh, sometimes, you know, you just kind of gloss over the small details because I'm not like a selfie guy. I know it'll shoot perfectly adequate videos for shooting video on, like I'm doing right now on the Mi A2, using the Impulse selfie stick and its super cool remote. Uh... The price, though, at $153 
is an excellent entry point. You get 64 gig of RAM, you have a dual SIM tray, and therefore you can slip in a micro SD expansion card. I wouldn't buy the 128, and I'm going to tell you why not. You can get for about $13, $14, uh, uh, and that'll be linked at the end below, uh, the uh, uh, Silicon Power micro SD card, and put that in there. And guess what? When you buy a new phone, and you'll have 196 gig on your Android One, at that point, but if you buy another phone someday down the road and want to get rid of this one, you're going to take the micro SD card out and you can put it in your new phone. You can't do that if you get the 128 version. You give away all that storage to the next guy. Let the next guy add the micro SD card in. That's why you come to me. High end cheap tech. Think long term. So, this is pretty much a really good phone. I haven't got hands on it. I'm hoping to someday have enough subscribers to afford it, or maybe, yeah, Xiaomi will send me one. Yeah, sure, right. Not going to happen. Uh, but it gets excellent reviews. It has. All the GSM bands, you can get AT&T, T-Mobile, Cricket, all those uh, on Amazon. So check the links below, and if you found this useful and informative in any way, make sure to give us a thumbs up and uh, share the video. And then uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Every subscriber we get gets us closer to that 1,000 mark. And who knows, maybe eventually we'll have it. And then we'll be making money and I can buy stuff like this right out of my own pocket and not depend on hopefully getting it someday when my tax return shows up. That's all I have for tonight. Check those uh, videos that are going to come up in the corners and have a great night and subscribe. Catch you later.